Throughout the years, there have been many heroes, but Swansea has its own tale of its own hero, who's much different to any other ever known. Swansea City Football Club and its fans have been known as the Jacks. But have you ever wondered why? There are a couple of different theories and explanations, but the most common and most popular involves bravery, friendship and tragedy. This is the story of Swansea Jack. So, Dylan, where does this story begin? Well, it all starts in 1930, just along these docks, when a black retriever called Jack was born to his original owner, Tolford Davis. Tolford Davis wasn't Jack's owner for very long due to Jack's frequent misbehaviour. This is where William Thomas, Jack's permanent owner, truly comes into play. It is reported that Jack was initially terrified of water. To encourage him to get over his fear, William Thomas made him swim with a group of local boys. Jack instinctively bit onto the collar of one of the boys and pulled him ashore. This is where Jack's legacy truly begins. Why is Swansea Jack still remembered nearly a hundred years on? Well, Swansea Jack is primarily remembered for saving 27 human lives from drowning right here in Swansea Docks. His original rescue, that of a 12-year-old boy who couldn't swim, went entirely unreported. It wasn't until a couple of weeks later when the media truly picked up on Jack's bravery. Often people are sceptical as to why Jack seemed to be in the right place at the right time. This is very simply explained by the fact most people couldn't swim at the time, making drowning much more of a common occurrence than it is today. Soon after Jack's first rescue, he saved a swimmer from the docks. This time, it was in front of a crowd. But it wasn't only human lives that Jack rescued. He saved a dog from the muddy water and on another occasion, he pulled a sack out of the water, only to discover there was a litter of puppies inside. Although this building may look run down, it was once one of Swansea's most lively pubs, called the Swansea Jack, showing the lasting effect that Jack has had on this city and its culture. There is another story that comes to mind about Hachiko, which um, was a dog from Japan and he would wait every single day outside a train station for his owner to return uh, from work and although he did it every single day one day his owner didn't return and Hachiko still waited outside the train station every single day for the rest of his life it's um, it is quite sad but just shows loyalty I suppose yeah absolutely it reminds me of um I don't know if you know the Greyfriars Bobby. It's up in Edinburgh, Scotland. And people travel from all over the world just to see this little statue of right. the Greyfriars Bobby. And he was basically just a small dog. And the, to put a, a long story short, he waited by his master's grave until the day that he died. And it just shows the loyalty. Yeah, similar story. Similar story. Interesting. Since his first rescue, Jack has been the recipient of so many different awards. He won Bravest Dog of the Year, he was awarded a silver cup by the Mayor of London. And to this day, he remains the only dog to have been awarded two bronze medals by the K9 Defence League, now known as Dogs Trust. But arguably, one of his greatest achievements ever was winning Dog of the Century, awarded to him in the year 2000 by the newfound Friends of Bristol. And they run a training programme in aquatic rescue techniques for dogs. Swansea Jack is a local hero. Unfortunately, at the age of just seven years old, his life came to a tragic end. In October 1937, Swansea Jack was found dead after ingesting rat poison. The K9 Defence League offered £25 as a reward to anyone who could give any information on his death. In today's money, that's worth around £3,000. Swansea Jack was originally buried with his owner, William Intribor. But after public appeal, he was later exhumed and he was moved to his memorial stone just across the road from St. Helen's Cricket Ground.
Erected to the memory of Swansea Jack, the brave retriever who saved 27 human and two canine lives from drowning, loved and mourned by all dog lovers, died October 2nd, 1937 at the age of seven years. Never had mankind more faithful friend than now who oft thy life did lent to save some human souls from death. Owner and trainer, W.M. Thomas. With stories such as the Grey Friars Bobby, Hachiko, and of course, Swansea Jack, it is clear that dogs truly are man's best friend. 